Okay, we're back here again, and uh, this is the OnLive welcome screen here. I believe it's running in Firefox. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to My Games. My Games. Okay, I currently don't have any games, obviously, because it's the first time I've actually logged into OnLive. Um, you can rent games or own games. Uh, so we're going to add some games in here. We're going to find some games. All right. There's a lot of A's on that one. That first one, I don't know what that is. Uh, Assassin's Creed 2, Batman Arkham Asylum, Borderlands, Brain Challenge, Defense Grid Gold, Dirt 2, Fear 2, Just Cause 2, Lego Harry Potter, years one through four. Mad Balls in Babo, Invasion. Okay, it looks sort of like a... like a isometric kind of gauntlet style game. Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, Puzzle Chronicles, Red Faction, Shatter. I've heard a lot of good things about Shatter, but it's really not my kind of style of game. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Trine, that's a beautiful game. Um, I've played a demo of that. Unreal Tournament 3, World of Goo. So these are the games available currently. I don't really know which one I want to play. Um, Alright, I think we're going to go with Fear 2, because I want to try what a uh, first-person shooter is like. Alright, let's fire this up and see if we're going to... Oh, you can play a demo. Oh, this is great, so I don't have to buy it. This, so far, I'm impressed with the way this all looks and uh, very smooth within the browser. Because remember, this is all cloud-based, so it's all streaming. So all this video is just streaming uh, through the internet. And this is going to be very awkward for me to play this. I'm like a contortionist here. Okay, we're just going to start this up. We're going to throw ourselves right into this. All right, on the bottom it says to toggle full screen, press... Command F. So let's try that out. There we go. We got full screen on here. I don't know how you get out of that. Maybe Command F again. Let's try that. Yeah. Okay. So that toggles between full screen and not. So far, I'm really, uh, I'm really impressed with the streaming on it. All right, after a lot of jibber-jabber from these guys here, I found out pretty much how to operate it. Um, I'd like to customize it a little bit, but for, this, for the purpose of this, this demo here, I'm just going to use what we have here. The mouse button is the fire button. I'm wasting bullets there. Jump with the space and crouch with the C. Uh, you can change the um, gun that you have with the one or the two button and shift is uh, zoom in. Let's see if we can at least find one enemy here. And... Let's see how this works. It's very responsive. It's very responsive, so as far as the the doubters, it's no different than when you play on an Xbox or a PlayStation 3 or a Wii. Um, it's very responsive. When I press a button, it does what I want to do. I'm going to press the space bar right now. I don't know if you can hear me hitting the space bar, but when I do, it jumps. So it's very responsive. I'm impressed. Maybe I should shoot uh, R. Jankowski. Give him a bullet for good measure. Oh, you can't. That's too bad. All right. Uh, how do I get in here? Oh, no! The chance I get to kill somebody, I end up hitting the wrong button, I jump. Put him out of his misery. He's dead weight. Move, move, keep moving. Put a bullet in him. Yeah! Alright. First one. Uh-oh.
Got him. All right, I'm seeing my first action here. It's pretty good. Even though I am not, oh God, gotta get this guy. All right. Very, so far, very responsive. I'm really impressed with it. I'm going to uh, go on to Unreal Tournament now and get my ass kicked by some four-year-old child. So let's do that. Now this is just my preliminary look at OnLive, uh, which I'm very impressed with so far. But the real test is going to be, on a first-person shooter it was good. Um, I'm going to have to tweak the, the actual input. I'm going to have to actually be able to sit in front of the computer and play. Uh, and I also might put a mouse on here. Uh, that'll make things a lot easier. But the real test uh, is going to be because this is cloud computing. This is all being streamed from a server and my inputs are being put in um, you know, remotely. Uh, the real test is going to be something like uh, Unreal Tournament, which is a very, if I can find it here, which is a very uh, twitch, fast-paced game. So we're going to try this. This will give me an idea of the response time of when I fire, when I jump, when I do all these things in, in, uh, in accordance with the other players uh, on the multiplayer. So we're going to go into this. Press fire to begin. All right, let's do this. You are on red. Oh, God. Poor red team. First of all, red team does not have... I was killed. Oh, such a surprise. All right, what's going on here is I am in a sniper position. I am controlling one axis with the mouse and the other axis with the arrow keys. And I haven't figured out how to zoom yet, but uh, I'm not a help to my team. That's all I know. But the end of the day is very responsive. Um, I'm really impressed with, with how this how this operates. Oh god, I'm getting shot here. Got killed. Big surprise. But I'm really impressed with how the service runs. So, um, this, these are my initial impressions on OnLive. Um, we're gonna get out of here because I'm just horrible. All in all, I'm really impressed with this so far. It's really responsive, it's fun, and the visual fidelity is great. It's, like I said, it's all streaming, uh, so that's really impressive. Um, I'm gonna give, uh, these are my initial impressions, but I do wanna, uh, you know, continue playing around with this, and I'll update you guys when I find out any more cool things about it, or if there are any problems with it or anything, I'll let you know, but again, like I said so far, I'm really impressed with it. And um, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe. i got to up my subscriber base. And uh, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below.